already established on this channel that the Bryce is always right. But, you know, there are even some things that the Bryce doesn't know. Still doesn't mean he's not right. I have a little plug at the end of this video telling why I think that this exercise is important that I hope you'll stick around for. But in the meantime, I'm going to share with you a few things that I know that I don't know, but that I kind of think I should. Number one. I don't know who my local government officials are. I know the town I live in has a mayor. I know the state I live in has a governor. I know that there are these representatives who all live in this house and make some really minor decisions like picking who the next president is. Still, I don't know who they are or what they stand for. Number two, I don't know the names of at least 40% of my cousins. That's probably a conservative number, but seeing as half of my viewers are my family members, I kind of want to keep it low. In my defense, I am at least four years younger than like 70% of my cousins and have always lived at least eight hours away from any of them. Plus, I got 50 of them, so number three. I don't know a lot about small business tax laws. Do I have to say more? Number four, I don't know how computers work. Yes, computers are not real things. They are mixtures between cars and computers, and I don't know how either of them works, yet I rely on them heavily. Now, we live in a very complicated world. There are so many things for us to be able to learn. There's no way we can become experts in all of them. Generally, the knowledge of how to fill a gas tank and not to leave giant magnets next to your computer suffices me on a day-to-day -day basis. But that sort of knowledge would not only make me more effective at my job, but it would make me feel a little bit more secure any time that I have to take one of those things to a repair person. Number five. There is a ton of stuff about SEO that I am just completely lost to. I know enough to be able to do my job well as a videographer, but what search engine optimization gurus do is just witchcraft to me. Number six, I don't know how to enable spell check on all of the programs that I work with. Originally, I was going to list a slew of commonly used words that I don't actually know how to spell, but then I realized I have spell check for that. The issue is a lot of the programs that I use don't actually have spell check, or if they do, it's not in the preset. And I've never bothered to really find out how to work around that. The way that I see it, there are four kinds of things in this world. The things you know, the things you don't know, and any arrangement of those that you are either aware of or not. I'm kind of a believer that the things in this column are more dangerous to me because they're in my blind spot. Therefore, I don't even know that they're there. Because of that, I try to leave those boxes as empty as I can most of the time and try to move them into one of the other two boxes. But since they're unknown, it's kind of hard to do. That's where this exercise of figuring out what are the things that you know that you don't know, but that you probably should, is really helpful. As I research, I find more complicating questions that I had not even imagined before, and I find out that sometimes I have the right answers, I just don't have the right questions to pair them with. If you enjoyed watching this and you think it's a good exercise for people to do, go ahead and share this video along with a couple of things that you know that you don't know, but you think you probably should. Mwah!